Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingram in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for August 11, 2023. Pretty solid amount of new arrivals this week, but also there's been a ton of killer pre-orders announced. And I'll kind of start on the top of this two-page list. Uh, OJC, they have announced the next three, and actually I think these are actually good titles for a few reasons. They're titles that are either really difficult to get clean but may not be expensive like for instance the Dave Brubeck Jazz at the Oberlin that's a relatively common record I've never found a copy that plays near mint you know an original that's coming out November 10th these OJC's all analog cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray tip on jacket they're killer so far this has been the I think this is the standout series of the year so far for jazz at least Bill Evans and Tony Bennett that comes out November 10th as well then, this is the favorite for me of the three, Tommy Flanagan, John Coltrane, Kenny Burrell, and Idris Suleiman. That's uh, October 27th, The Cats is the name of the album. Difficult to find, musically fantastic record, so I'm really looking forward to that. Van Halen box set. It's kind of the uh, Hagar era stuff. It's called The Collection 2. That comes out uh, no October the 6th. That's going to be like Balance... 5150 for unlawful criminal carnal knowledge. It's a rarities disc in OU812. Not my favorite era of Van Halen. But uh, yeah, it says on the little blurb that it's mastered directly from the master tapes by somebody that I'm not familiar with. So, I, you know, would have been nice if Chris Bellman was able to continue doing cuts like, you know, the current imprint Van Halen titles are all analog cut by Chris Bellman. Be nice if he continued this. The next Love Supreme was kind of announced and it's dropping any day now. That is Love Supreme. Did I say the next Love Supreme is announced? The next UHQR is announced. It is Love Supreme at 45 RPM. It is gonna dro uh, drop any day now. The technical, techni technically the release date is August 11th. We get things a few days later than that. Then we'll get them out. But this is 45 RPM cut by Ryan Smith. Also, something else. Mobile Fidelity is announcing it as a one-step. Cannonball Adderley, really a Miles Davis record. Uh, but for, you know, legal purposes at the time, I'm pretty sure it was billed as a Cannonball record. But uh, he pretty, Miles pretty much was in control of that record. They're doing it as a one-step and... NSACD. Uh, that's got a to be announced date on it, but they've announced it years ago. But the fact that they resolicited the title makes me think it's coming pretty soon. I did hear that Hotel California and Whitney Houston Super Vinyl is going to be shipping somewhat soon, but I don't have dates on that yet. Miley Cyrus, they're doing a 10th anniversary of Bangers. There was a record survey version of this a few years back, maybe four or five years ago. It's like a $500 record now. They only did a thousand of them. But I think this is going to be relatively popular. Uh, 10th anniversary comes with a poster. That's coming out September 29th. Three really hard, if not don't exist, you know, hard to impossible because one of them doesn't exist. Albums from Whitney Houston. Uh, My Love is Your Love. The Preacher's Wife, which I don't think that's ever been out on vinyl before. And I'm Your Baby Tonight. One of her, uh, what is that, late 80s, 80, 90, 91. It's in that range. All three of those are coming out November 17th. Three Whitney Houston titles. I feel like at this point we almost have, if not her whole catalog in print, we have, I think we have most of her catalog, if not all of it in print at this point. And last but not least, they have announced the last, you know, the next two Blue Note Classic Series titles. We got Jimmy Smith's Midnight Special and Horace Silver's Blowing the Blues Away. Both of those are all analog cut by Kevin Gray and come out September 15th. It's an immense amount of stuff. <laughs> Making sure I got it all here. Yeah. This is the highlights. You know, I typically only do pre-order highlights, so a lot of good pre-orders announced. Okay, the Depeche Mode latest box set. It is Sounds of the Universe. They've uh, done, what, what, six or seven of these 12-inch box sets at this point? Uh, they're all numbered. This is 1,735. But what is this? One, how many... So it's six, seven, one, two, three. Looks like, 
Looks like seven twelves. All right. This is actually a title that I'm one of the titles I'm most excited about this uh, week. That is Ziggy Stardust, the motion picture soundtrack. But this is the first time it officially has ever been released in its entirety. I think there were some disputes. Uh, Jeff Beck didn't want his stuff on it, or David Bowie wasn't a fan of it. The, there was some legal wrangling for years on this. But now, for the first time in its entirety, here it is. Ziggy Stardust, the motion picture soundtrack. So the Gene Genie featuring Jeff Beck, round and round featuring Jeff Beck. I think that was the hang-up, if I'm not mistaken, before. But I'm looking forward to hearing that in its entirety for the first time, officially. There's been bootlegs of it for years. The Cult, Sonic Temple. Let's see, pressed on translucent green, translucent green vinyl. We've also got a reissue campaign going on from the band Lush. So this is spooky. Love Life, remastered from original analog tapes, limited edition clear vinyl. Same thing on this one. Remastered from, don't know if they're analog. Split, same thing, remastered from original analog tapes. This is on clear vinyl as well. Chow, the best of, no uh, analog sticker mentioned on that. Who knows, they might be cut from analog. All right, what else do we got? Keller Raven, clear vinyl version. Kind of a spooky cover. Hmm? We've got Indigo D'Souza, all all of this way on Crimson Sundown Red Vinyl. McKinley Dixon, beloved Paradise Jazz, a limited recycled colored of vinyl. This is a record that I wanna say was 125, 150 bucks here a couple of weeks back. Finally getting a repress, that is Freddie Gibbs, the king of R&B. Includes the hits Weight and Automatic. I love the uh, Teddy Pendergrass knockoff cover. It's fantastic. Not knockoff, but what would you, you know, paying homage to it, but knockoff cover, but it's great. Here's a record that I'm glad to see in the store. This is going to sell really well. Grandmaster Flash in. The Furious Five, The Message, the genre-defining debut studio album. Includes a powerful title track, track, The Message, an exclusive Bronx Ice colored vinyl. Really great early hip hop. I'm not a huge rap guy, but actually I own a copy of this and it is good. Kurgerbin and Men I Trust, Men I Trust live at the RBC Echo Beach. We've got, again, every time I, I'm a sucker for uh, jazz, or excuse me, a sucker, I'm a sucker for jazz, but I'm also a sucker for the Dark Side of the Moon uh, albums. This is Jazz Side of the Moon, originally released on Chesky. This is limited to 1,000 copies on black splatter vinyl, and it actually has a gold sticker numbering it on the back. This is 374 of 100. So these are jazz covers of the tunes from Dark Side of the Moon forming a jazz side of the moon. <laughs> but who is on this? Sam Yahel on Hammond B3, Mike Morano, electric and acoustic guitar, Ari Hoining on drums, and Seamus Blake on tenor saxophone. Recorded uh, 2007. I streamed a little bit of this, but I'm going to keep one of these for myself. All right, Elvis, the king of rock and roll. Aloha from Hawaii via satellite. This is the 50th anniversary remix. I think this is a remix of the album, if I'm not mistaken. I'm almost positive they remixed this by a remix, a remastered by Vic Asante. But I wanna say they're doing a big CD box set of Aloha from Hawaii. And I wanna say that the remix, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna look into it again. 
I'll show you, let's see what it says on the back here. Do, do, do. Nada. I heard a track of this streaming maybe a couple, two, three weeks ago, because they only had one track on Apple Music. And, you know, sounded like shit because it's streaming. So I wasn't really able to tell much. All right, Chrome Dreams, Neil Young. Let's see, Source. Holy cow, they're getting crazy with the hype stickers now. Mastered from original analog tapes. So they actually don't have it on the cover, right? Which I would prefer. But you'll not be mistaken for wondering what it is because there is a big giant sparse code on the front. This is a legendary lost album. Most of this stuff I think was recorded or re-released on future albums. Yeah, four tracks never before released on vinyl. Let's see, two previously unreleased versions of two tracks. This is a three-sided double album with an etching on side four. All right, so we've got Neil Young featured. Kevin Gray mentioned, now we just need a Wizard Lizard Gizzard record for the in-group trifecta here on uh, this Thursday new release video. Asher Game, Game Diz, Turbulence, and Pulse. This actually looks interesting. What is this? Recorded in Cape Town, South Africa. Hmm. Recorded live on the Callus rooftop in Cairo, Egypt in 2022. I guess there's two discs with two different ensembles there. Gore. What do we got from Gore? Here we go. The New Dark Ages. The new album from the Lords of Lords and Masters, oh, excuse me, I just cannot read death metal, doom metal, or heavy metal fonts. The new album from your Lords and Masters. Okay, <laughs> all right, I got it. Okay, I don't think this has ever been released on vinyl. I'm almost positive of it. I'm going to have to keep it for myself. This is David Byrne from The Talking Heads, one of my absolute all-time favorite bands, and David Byrne's solo stuff is phenomenal as well. But uh, David Byrne and Fatboy Slim, Here Lies a Love. He talked about this. I saw him on Broadway on the, what was the name of that tour? I've seen it twice, too, and I forgot the name of it. But essentially, he, uh, he talked about this particular album uh, a decent amount during that show. Restock of Gil Scott Heron's Pieces of a Man. What's cool about this, this is an all analog 50th anniversary cut. And they're really upfront about it on the hype sticker. Cut in an all analog chain by Frank Merritt. And I've heard great things on this. The last time I got it, it sold out so quick I wasn't able to grab one for myself. So here's hoping I remember this time. The latest from the Candid uh, reissues, Toshiko Mariano's Quartet. Toshiko Mariano Quartet, remastered by Bernie Grumman from the original analog master tapes. They've come out and said these have actually, uh, these were actually cut all analog by Bernie Grumman. All right, the newest album by Public Image Limited, End of the World. And this is the red vinyl version, 45 RPM. It's a double, but it is cut at 45 RPM, which I think is nice. Like rather than, I'd rather be, it be cut at 45 than like the Neil Young to where you've got an etching. I think in a lot of cases they can stretch it out to 45 and get higher fidelity. This is the standard black vinyl version, also cut at 45 RPM. Some more gore. Scum Dogs of the Universe. That's, uh, okay. Some more gore. No, lots of gore. Scum Dogs Live. All right, you can get it live. You can get the studio cut. They got you covered. All right, we've got Selena Gomez's Rare. Limited edition colored vinyl. Katy Perry, Smile. This is the limited edition colored vinyl variant as well. Let's 
see. Mad Lib. Rock Conductor. Number two. This is a indie exclusive smoke vinyl variant. We've got Yives Tumor. Man, I'm, I feel like an old man saying this, but these names are just killing me. <laughs> you know, it's, I guess you have to know how to pronounce them. Praise a Lord who chews, but which does not consume, or simply hot between worlds. Okay. There it is. I'm sure like back in the day, you know, guys like me were like, Beatles? The hell's a beetle? I thought it was a bug. So I know I'm just sounding like a, like a very old man, but, you know, up here week after week, I get to myself, what the hell is the name of this band? Sunny War, Anarchist Gospel. All right. Brennan Leah, ain't through honky tonkin' yet. This is uh, something that uh, does not seal, but actually this is how it came. Let's see. I'm trying to find out the label. It looks like signature sounds. The Art of Forgetting. Carolyn Rose. Kind of like the cover, it's interesting. All right, we've got Reds, Pinks, and Purples, the town that cursed your name. This is on uh, Sea Glass Blue Vinyl. Let's see, the Nude Party Rides On, independent record store edition, limited to a thousand copies, yellow vinyl. All right, I had to pause the video there for a minute so I could censor this record because it is, uh, although cartoon, you know, our drawing, a cartoon drawing, it is very graphic. And that is uh, End of Everything, Megabog. So you can see my fantastic uh, painter's tape post-it note job I did there. But uh, yeah, there it is. You can see the uncensored cover, I believe, on the website at theingroup.com. Rob? Mazurik, Exploding Star Orchestra. Hmm. All right, this is on the International Anthem Recording Company. Really nice cover. Cool. All right. We've got Liturgy. Lit Liturgy, yeah, 93696. All right. This is on crystal clear colored vinyl. But is crystal clear a color? I feel like clear is not a color, but that's the name of it. It's crystal clear colored vinyl. Janelle Monet, Dirty Computer. All right. Pretty much everything she had in her catalog was going for like 100 bucks not too long ago. But you couldn't get anything for a couple of years. Blonde Shell, the debut LP. The title track is Veronica Mars. Big Brave Nature Morte. This is on a Thrill Jockey. Bernice Cruzen. Post Malone, Hollywood's Bleeding. This is a colored vinyl variant. We've got, okay, D4VD. Dave, we got D4VD, Petals to Thorns on translucent black ice vinyl. I don't know how D4VD would like that name pronounced, so we're gonna just go with that. 
All right, so Lou, this is Today and Tomorrow. I want to imagine most of their catalog at this point has been reissued. Because I've been showing them for a couple weeks now. Atmosphere. Sad Clown, Bad Dub 2. First time ever on vinyl, digitally remastered from the original four-track tapes. Sounds like some hype you would have uh, seen in the late 80s. It's been... We fixed the analog tapes. We've digitally remastered it. De La Soul, Artificial Intelligence, Mosaic Thump. I think we're almost done with the full De La Soul reissue campaign. Maybe one or two more left. Hot Mulligan, Wax Bodega. Why? Nope, that's not the name of it. Hot, Hot Mulligan, Why Would I Watch? Ah, oh, Viewmaster. I used to have one of those. Cool cover. I like it. I like the Viewmaster on the cover. Mortal Kombat 4, the soundtrack. Oh, Raiden on the left. Oh, man, I was so good with Raiden back in the day on the arcade. But I don't know what this is. This is uh, Mortal Kombat 4, soundtrack from the arcade game. Music by Dan Forden. Okay. I don't think I was playing around Mortal Kombat 4. I think Mortal Kombat 2 or 3 was around the end for me. Art Pepper. Artworks. This is by Omnivore. All right, this is the new Aphex Twin. Black Box Life. My tag uh, cut off. Boy, that is a really trippy cover. Black Box Life Recorder 2, it looks like. Pretty cool. All right, Extinction. Members Only Volume 4. Subhumans. Crisis Point. Let's see. We got Gucci Mane, Mr. Davis. John Legend, Love in the Future, 10th Anniversary Edition, featuring the hits All of Me and You and I. All right. From Ash to New Blackout. From the, brand, from the band that brought you Panic, Black Ice Vinyl. Whole bunch of Ace Freely reissues, or maybe some of these on the fir for the first time. I'm not sure. Let's see. Anomaly Deluxe 10th Anniversary Edition. Spaceman at 45 RPM, 180 gram clear and grape half and half vinyl with a download card. Space Invader. Same thing. I think these are all cut at 45. Maybe, no, the first one probably not, but these last two, 45 RPM, 180 gram, clear of vinyl. Uh, UFO, walk on water. This is a 12 inch and a seven inch. This is the one William Shatner album I've never heard, but I kind of sampled it and it almost sounds like it is a, uh, I love William Shatner, by the way. I highly recommend his three LP box set, Major Tom, Seeking Major Tom. Fantastic. You haven't lived until you've heard William Shatner sing Bohemian Rhapsody. Anyways, getting back to this, William Shatner Live, I think he's doing maybe stand-up, maybe singing. I'm not really sure. I skimmed through it. It sounds like he's doing stand-up or telling stories and jokes. It's really weird. It's the only Shatner album I don't have. Uh, double LP, silver vinyl with a bonus poster. New York Dolls, Dawn of the Dolls. This is a pre, the pre, uh, pre the first album, I believe. It's like demo stuff. Let's see the hives, the death of Randy Fitzsimmons on cream colored vinyl. Johnny Thunders. 
Finally alone, the sticks and stones tapes on 12 inch yellow vinyl with a seven inch pink EP. And last we've got, oh, Sun Ra. Sun Ra standards. This is kind of cool. Gold color vinyl edition. There's only 500 of these, limited to 500 units, pressed at Palace. One thing about Sun Ra is I think we can probably uh, be reissuing a new Sun Ra album probably once a week for many years to come. He was very prolific and had a lot of output. All right, check us out online, guys, at theingroove.com. Until next time.